I went from this to this to this to this to this <laughs> and now this. This is a short visual story of several gears of my Epidendrum Stamfordianum arriving with some fungal issues still able to bloom to turning into a rescue orchid that almost did not make it for two full years being in active recovery to then having recovered enough to bloom in the most spectacular way since the orchid arrived on the patio. I admit that was all very, very fast. So I'm going to show you the history images again, a little slower so that perhaps you can follow the point I'm trying to make with this orchid. Please, if you have any questions when you think of your own collection, leave them in the comments. While I am super upset about this, I hope that it will serve a purpose to avoid or at least be on the lookout for with something similar happening in your collection, giving you time to observe and if necessary react and then make the right decision for your orchids. And yes, it did not help at all that I could not provide supplemental light or heat to the indoor winter orchid holding space as from 2020. And for that reason only, I do believe her road to recovery took much longer. However, I did get her to bloom beautifully late winter of 2024. But to see her like this breaks my heart. And this is why I am an advocate for cutting spikes on orchids that are a bit on the iffy side and to cut them prematurely. I shall take her most recent blooming and enjoy the visual together with you while I talk about some details. Know that I appreciate you being here. To say that I'm mad at myself is an understatement. Back to cutting spikes prematurely, especially if the blooms are long lasting as they are with my Stamfordianum. Four weeks is a long time for an orchid that appears to have recovered while it produced a fabulous spike that does not even resemble a recovery spike which would have limited blooms. I should have cut this spike a week after it bloomed out. Because now I am very concerned once again for the long-term existence of this orchid in my collection. You can see the back pseudobulbs have lost all their leaves and that happened very quickly. The growth that bloomed lost one of the middle leaves coming out of the apex and I have lost some roots. I can gently push on the velamen of the roots at the surface that I can see and they feel soft. I can only hope that the roots I have left will be enough to allow this new eye to develop and be around for long enough to produce another set of roots. Also, I did get another unexpected temperature drop the last two weeks of April where the conditions deteriorated to what we normally would get in January or February. However, I should have known better and I will always come back to that. While the orchid was not outside, it did not have to deal with the challenges of cooler temperatures outside. I could also say that the lack of light made her deteriorate so much faster after expending all the energy on her blooms. And I believe that is what triggered this current decline. But again, I should have gone with what I said I would do. Cut the spike after celebrating the improvement and progress of all these years of trying to help this orchid to recover. Should have, could have, would have. It's too late for my orchid, but let this be a prime example for you and your collection. If you have an orchid that is finally blooming after several years of being in recovery, let it bloom, enjoy the recovery stage to get it to this point of blooming again, and then cut the spike. Allow your orchid to retain the energy to successfully grow another growth without having to pull any energy for basic survival from the valuable and much needed existing structures. My Epidendrum Stamfordianum is not looking good at all. When I had this orchid in rescue mode the first time after she lost all the leaves at the back, I still had green pseudobulbs, which declined over several years. This time, I have one pseudobulb only. So, what is left for me to do? Well, go back to square one, pseudobulb one, and keep the fingers crossed that this orchid is going to make it. I have my doubts. But I do sincerely hope that this video has helped somebody and possibly the survival of an orchid somewhere at some point down the line. 
Thank you so much for giving this video a thumbs up. Share it with others as a message of warning. It would be appreciated if you would also subscribe to the channel for that added support. And thank you for doing so. As well as thank you for watching. Wishing you a fabulous day. On the condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.